Hi folks, welcome you to today's topic site preparation part 2. So today we are going to learn about site leveling. So this topic is quite mandatory and also non-mandatory depends on the site conditions. So it's a pre-construction level work. So let's uh, understand the various types of levels before understanding site leveling in more elaborative way okay so what are the types of levels that comes around here are they here you can see the plinth level it is a level uh, where the plinth this is the plinth top level means after uh, getting the plinth beam this is the top portion above it is a flow finish level that is 50 mm above this uh, plinth beam top level okay the next comes a benchmark level and here it is the road level you can find out then this is the ngl or egl that is natural ground level or existing ground level then after cutting the foundation you can find out the footing bed level then is the water table level so this is basically in an ideal condition because the water table is bit uh, low out here then the footing bed level okay so this is the typical cross section of a building showing types of levels and standard site conditions okay so after understanding this cross sectional blueprint drawing now let's come to the various processes that needs to be done uh, while uh, before a site leveling work is done okay so these are the instruments that is auto level and you can see here staff staff by which the uh, levels will be taken so this is a plot size of 30 feet by 45 feet so this is the x-axis and this is the y-axis so let's draw imaginary line over in the site and uh, let's take these grid points this is x1 y1 this is x1 y2 this is x1 y3 x1 y4 then this is x2 y1 this is x2 y2 this is x2 y3 so such a kind of coordinates uh, let here uh, let's find out the various staff readings out here so after getting the staff reading in this this points you'll be finding out uh, at what distance we have kept we have kept it at zero then uh, five so at every five feet we have kept the uh, benchmark okay so here it is 45 feet and here then we have uh, three points so we have uh, four uh, lines in y axis this is y1 y2 y3 y4 so these are the four uh, readings that come up okay uh, so here are the various readings based on which this graph is done so analyze this you can see here this one is the benchmark level so from here above it needs cutting and uh, less than it needs filling okay so you can just cut out this portion and fill it here and cut out this region and fill it here so if uh, more filling is required it can be done it can be arranged uh, just arrange sand or any kind of backfilling soil and fill it up okay so here you need to analyze and decide then execute okay so this is what you have to done true so here are four types of conditions in flat conditions you never need leveling at all you can see it here it's a flat kind of surface leveling has been already done it's well bounded so no leveling is done here you can directly start the foundation work from here only so this is the ideal condition site okay the next condition is a slant slope that is uh, you can see the degree is 30 degree less than 30 degree it's a slant slope and here it is a stiff slope the slope uh, degree is above 30 degree and here is an uneven surface you can see the road level out here and uh, the land pattern is quite rocky and even very uneven so this needs uh, leveling okay so these three may require leveling but not required in flat okay so let's understand more on this in uh, various site leveling conditions this flat even leveled uh, condition so this is the ideal condition that we're talking about but here also four types of conditions crop up okay so we have four examples in here here is a road level that is dotted red line and uh, the land level is same as road level okay and uh, in this portion you can see the land level is uh, the NGL the natural ground level 
is above the road level in example 3 you can see road level is higher than the uh, natural ground level and in example 4 even though the road level is higher the natural ground level is bit lower and there is a water table level as well here you can see the water table level is bit high so this is also a condition you can consider it as an ideal condition but here you need to uh, this is a condition in case of oversaturation uh, in case of rainy season this happens normally so what you need to do is just fill the land and do your excavation work as it is okay so the second condition is land slope that is uh, the degree level is below 30 degree you can see here a 25 degree uh, kind of uh, angle is presented over here and this is the natural ground level how it is shaped up so this is one condition where it is just inclined to the road level exact road level okay in here you can see uh, it is above the road level and the third case it is below the road level in here also you need to cut and uh, again you need to fill it uh, uh, or you can cut it from here and the entire place will be filled up accordingly okay and here the WTL level you can see its height and the water table level is bit high over here as well okay so need to take requisite action on this so you can find out very easily I have uh, marked the cutting uh, area and the banking area so this area needs to be banked and the work can be easily executable okay here in case of strip slope the same condition here you can see 36 degree angle has been created and in various conditions the various kind of uh, cutting and filling action needs to be taken up so this is quite uh, easy to understand from this graph and in case of uneven same conditions will be seen you can see this portion needs banking and this cut portion needs cutting okay so based on this uh, the entire stage will be set for foundation works okay so here are certain examples you can find out uh, in this condition this is an ideal condition but i said you uh, that uh, water level is bit high as this is a rainy condition so what we did is we simply uh, backfilled it a thin layer of backfilling was done not much higher hardly one fit not more than that that was enough for, for setting the place for foundation works okay and this is another condition where you can see is an uneven plot of land where uh, cutting was done so that uh, the entire area can be leveled properly for the uh, foundation work starting okay so the various safety rules that needs to be followed up here use pps as usual use snake repellents one day before the cutting filling action everything and if there is a rock uh, kind of thing use a rock manual a rock uh, disintegration manual so follow this rule and always barricade the place where this uh, excavation works is being done okay there is chances of tripping hazard so be careful about it and always be careful about the snake hole and always ne uh -huh, never ever stay nearby the heavy machinery under operations okay <laughs> so these are certain more examples you can see this is a flat land still uh, sand filling is being done maybe uh, to create a proper level surface because this, uh, this work is being done concluded in a large area maybe it needs leveling here's a sla slant slope example this is a stiff slope example for cutting the uneven surface where the cutting action is being taken you can see here hydraulic hammer on action in action so thank you up next you will see the site preparation part 3 uh, under the scope of specialized works okay